Hi there, Scorpios. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl looking at this week, November 23 through November 29. And what's happening this week is that we have a full moon in Gemini. And that is always interesting, having full moons. Full moons, of course, bring about closure, bring things full circle and make people, you know, hurry up and get it done because full moons are very, very important in our lives. We have new moons, which, of course, we had your new moon earlier this month, and now we have a full moon. And this full moon, the next two weeks, are uh, the best time of the month to wind up projects, decrease the clutter, and reduce whatever has gotten flabby. And of course, we all immediately think of our bellies because with Thanksgiving in the air this week, food is the number one uh, priority on everyone's uh, thought list about you know it, making sure you can stuff enough food down your <laughs> mouth gullet to you know celebrate the fact that um we give thanks for the crops i never have understood thanksgiving and i never will and i know there's a whole political thing about it but all i know is is that i do like the pecan pie and i do like the yams now i am not american i uh, obviously but I go and I do stuff my face with whatever is put in front of me because I think it's just the wildest holiday of all time. You know, that it really is. Those movies you watch about Thanksgiving, the funny ones with all the dysfunctional families, it's kind of true. That's how it is, you know. Apart from the full moon, we have a meeting between Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, in your second, in uh, sorry, in your in Sagittarius, your communication zone, and Neptune, the planet of fantasy and dreams, and that's going to be in your sixth house of health and well-being. Now, these two planets are getting together, and interestingly enough, on a conscious level, they are representing the restrictions and protections that are disappearing concerning individual privacy. So basically, it's getting harder and harder to be private these days with the widespread use of social media tools, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and there's a lot more I know. Tinder, I mean, Tinder is amazing in that I've seen people sitting in restaurants and bars just going through and I'm like, oh, I know that person. You know, like invasion of privacy in that they can do it anywhere and everyone's everyone comments on the person and keep clicking and it's like it's really, really um, strange social experiment. And, you know, these social websites make it very easy for people to have private thoughts with millions and is that really where we're going with our life and you know parading our flaunting our wealth or flaunting our gifts or flaunting our 20 pound weight loss or whatever it is we want to be that open it's wonderful that we think we can be but it's not great when you get stalked or hacked or your brand new mercedes that you flaunted on facebook gets stolen because everyone knows you got a new car and doesn't have plates yet and they you know it's, it's amazing what can happen through photos it's on the news all the time so the universe is saying be thankful but just be quiet about it have a wonderful week great speaking to you Scorpios and I'll speak to you next week